From Afghanistan to Sussex County, bringing the story of one soldier's trip back home. Well, good evening. I'm Paul Butler. Alice Babies has the night off. This is WBOC News at 7. You know, for more than a decade now, we've had troops overseas risking their lives for us. And now, as the war has come to a close, these soldiers are coming home. Well, today, one National Guardsman had an especially emotional homecoming. Sussex County Bureau Chief Evan Koslop joins us now. And Evan Specialist Charlie Moon was met not only by his friends and family, but by the entire community. And the, emu the emotion today was palpable. And there's no question as to why that is. He just finished his second term abroad in Afghanistan, and now he's back here in the United States to stay. The truck engine roars as the American flag hangs high. Fire trucks line up by the Indian River Inlet Bridge. They're waiting for the return of their good friend, Charlie Mood, who is serving in Afghanistan. And then the moment arrives. The trucks then escort him back to the department. There, the reunions continue. I actually teared up a little bit. Um, coming home, seeing all this, seeing the family, it, it makes you cry. It, it makes you tear up. It's an iconic moment that we've all become all too used to, a soldier coming home. Mood reflects on what it's like to see his community come out for him. The outpouring was amazing. Uh, the, it was amazing what I saw and what I felt going through. Everybody waving their flags and everything like that. It shows how tight this community is around here. Friend and fellow firefighter Gerald Brinson planned the whole surprise. He lost his best friend to this war. Now he says it means the world to have another friend back alive and well. It's a good day because a soldier gets to come home and it's also a brother firefighter. You're not looking at somebody's going to the funeral for a fallen soldier. This soldier gets to come home. And as a decade of war comes to close, mother Paula says that she's not letting her boy go anytime soon. Static, wonderful, awesome that he's home. And like I said, the outpouring of this community it has been wonderful. This is, this is family. I love it. About 7,000 miles away from Afghanistan, Mood now gets to resume his life, his community, by his side. Now, Mood is one of 40 guardsmen who came home this morning. On the top of the list, he says, to sit down with friends and family and enjoy a beer. Reporting from the Bureau, this is Evan Kozlov, WBOC News, back to you.